neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look at the Empire Faucets Dual Lever Handle Faucet, and we have this here installed in our camper, and this is going to be really great if you are looking to update the look of your camper or replace an existing faucet. Installation is extremely easy, and we're going to walk you through that, but let's take a look at some of the features of this. Here you can see we have the matte black faucet installed. Also available in this style is going to be the satin nickel. So you can match whatever style you're going for inside of your camper. Now each handle is a quarter turn cartridge. So long term, it's going to have less friction than a washer style. So that's gonna be great for a long time. Now flow rate is gonna be 2.2 gallons per minute. And you can also see there's an aerator installed. So that's gonna aerate the water making washing your hands a lot easier and be able to suds up a little more. So if your camper has the standard two hole faucet in the bathroom, this is gonna be a quick, easy replacement. It can be done with zero tools and in a very small amount of time, it's gonna add a great look immediately once installed. And as far as installation goes, I'm gonna walk you through it and you'll be having a working faucet in no time. To begin our installation, the first step is obviously make sure it's not hooked up to water. You're also gonna wanna open these up just to kind of drain any residual, and that's just gonna save you a lot of water coming out and having to catch it underneath when you remove this. Now you're gonna see a standard RV has very simple plumbing here, and it's just twist on to the faucet itself. So there's really no need for pipe wrenches or anything that you're used to with your home plumbing. Now, there probably is going to be residual water, so I highly recommend having towels, some paper towels, or a bucket, some way to collect this water. That way it doesn't ruin the wood. But, with a simple twist, we can undo our one line. And as you can see, there's our residual. So I'm gonna throw a few towels down, just kind of catch that. And we have one unhooked. Now we're just gonna repeat that process. And just like that, we're unhooked. So now that we have our water disconnected, all we have to do is loosen these up. And these are gonna be tucked up there, a decent amount, just reach up, similar thing, just counterclockwise twist these. And this is actually going to separate the faucet from the sink fixture. So now with these removed, really all that's left is to pull the faucet out. And this is also gonna be a good time to do a little bit of cleaning here before you put your new one on. So maybe a little alcohol or some soap and water should bring this pretty up pretty easily. It's already coming up. And having a nice clean surface is gonna make sure that it seals up better. So now we're gonna take our new faucet and simply slide this in place. Now we have our mounting shank nuts here. And so we're gonna go underneath and just hand thread these on. And then we simply take these and just counter, or I'm sorry, clockwise turn these on. And they should spin up pretty easily here. And just go until it's tight. You don't need to crank it down too hard. Also, before you tighten them down completely, you kind of want to orientate it the way you'd like it, whether you'd like it closer or further, but also making sure it's not crooked. So right here looks good. Now I can tighten this back up. So now we'll just take our water line here and we're going to turn this on clockwise to our shank. Make sure your threads are nice and lined up. It's great because there's no tools involved except for just your hands. So you don't really need to crank this down too hard. It should stop once you find compression. I've gone ahead and turned our water on. I'm gonna check real quick visually for leaks at our connections and everything looks good there. So all that's left to do is give this a shot. Seems to be flowing just fine, and it looks good in the process. And that was a look at the Empire Faucet Dual Lever Handle RV Faucet. Thanks for watching.